Circus, how I got into it, and I show you the place where I learned flying trapeze as well. So, Santa Monica on the pier, and shortly after in 2008, in about I think it was August, I came and I took my first class after meeting the owner of the school. The teaching classes shortly after, and I was learning basically everything about trapeze as well as teaching new people how to. As you can see right there, as I was learning and becoming an instructor here, I I was also doing some of the shows. So I became a flyer before I was a catcher, and that's what I was doing in Japan for the last five years. But when I started, I wasn't doing any catching. I was just doing uh, the flying part, which is what you see them doing back there. Uh, I learned a lot about the school. I learned a lot about the rigging. And I learned a little bit about circus, and it was really cool because uh, I think it was within the first year that I was working here that I got a chance to go see Circus Vargas. Circus Vargas is a really nice production, a really cool circus that tours um, the West Coast from I think Sacramento all the way down to San Diego, and it is a really good quality show that has an amazing flying trapeze act as well as other circus acts. And watching their show also inspired me to. To continue doing trapeze and to move on to trying to perform. So I became part of the uh, production team here. I helped produce some of the shows, put some of the aerial acts together, which you see over here. This is the aerial rig. They have a trampoline right there, they have an aerial point right there, and they'll teach aerial classes as well. So um, for the shows, we'd include uh, the aerial stuff as well. Um, so that's kind of the abridged version of how I got into circus. There's obviously a lot longer story of uh, while I was working here, how I learned to become a catcher, and then how I ended up getting my first circus job uh, with Ringling Brothers. But I really, today I wanted to show you around the Santa Monica Pier. If you guys have never been here, it's really fun, it's very lively, it's very touristy though. So many people that live in Santa Monica or in this side of California, don't typically come over here, uh, which is good and bad. It's good because there's typically um, there's there's typically a lot of tourists, so there's going to be business for for the trapeze. But the other bad thing is, if you live here, it's really difficult to get down here because there is a lot of uh, tourists and a lot of uh, traffic to get down here. Also, if you look on the other side, all the way up the top of the pier is where you'll find parking. Now they do have some beach parking down here. And it is not cheap. You have beach parking down on this side. But, uh, um, so as I was saying, it's just very difficult to get down here um, for people that live and work in in California, in Los Angeles. Um, in any case, there's always a lot of stuff happening here. You've got street performers. You have magicians. You have all these little shops, these little um, like churros. There's this free yoga and meditation books. So as you can see, it's very similar to um, a lot of those, like the downtown in Las Vegas. Um, we even have a restaurant down at the very end called Marisol. It's a Mexican restaurant. Um, but one of the famous things that you might have seen in a bunch of movies or TV shows as well from uh, Santa Monica is that this uh, park here is called Pacific Park. They do a lot of television and commercials um, on this area. And you'll probably see a lot of Instagrammers, TikTokers, making videos all around this area as well. And in the time that I was working at the trapeze school here, I think we shot about five or six um, mainstream television shows. And I can't even remember how many commercials. So uh, that was really fun as also being an aspiring actor when I was first moved out here, I had a chance to host a lot of those things. Um, Hell's Kitchen, Modern Family, uh, Up All Night. There was quite a few shows that we did over there. Um, and actually, you know, ironically, there was an episode on Modern Family called Leap Year. Today happens to be Leap Day, 
It was called Leap Year, and that was the one thing that they wanted to do for their Leap Day is to go to do trapeze. So, just remembering that. Uh, I do to the live stream. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, it's probably not gonna be a very long live stream, but I just wanted to kind of show you around here in the Santa Monica Pier. Oh it's a Saturday afternoon, so it's very lively. Are you filming something? I am. I have a friend who's getting married. Oh yeah? Yeah, and we need someone to sing with. To sing with? Yes. Do you okay. Anyone? Do you have a love song that you like that you go song? to? Let me ask. Uh, we got a bunch of people watching. Yes, it's a live we video. Go. So, we right oh, we got the lyrics too. All right. So, what is your name? You're getting married. Mimi here is getting married. Hi. You okay being on YouTube? Yes. Okay. <laughs> they just stopped me to uh, sing with them for her wedding. I'm not not singing for the wedding, but for now. I you guess. can be our wedding singer if you're good enough. Oh, I'm, I'm not good at all. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, ask them what song so, should so we're gonna. So, what song should we sing? I need some suggestion, guys. Uh, we'll take it. What is your the YouTube? The trouble. My YouTube is Ryan Schneider Vlogs. What do you do? Um, my vlogs are. I, I work in circus, oh. so I vlog a lot of the places that I visit while working in the circus oh, and travel. Okay. And I was actually just doing this video. I started doing circus at the trapeze school here. 12 years ago. So this is kind of introducing a lot of my fans to to how I got into circus. Oh, thanks for letting us interrupt. Yeah, you. no, it's okay. I'm just being very careful because with copyright music, it, you can't play oh, yeah. copyright music here. So, um, so we, don't have, we can just sing the We can lyrics. sing the lyrics, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, yeah. we're going to take the song that they have. Since we don't have any, we have no suggestions right now in the chat. Okay, okay. What song is it? All right. One, two, three. Wait, do you have the, without the music, the lyrics? All right. <laughs> All right, you go. I'll follow your We're lead. We're all singing. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Can we go this way though? Because the lighting. Oh, hold on. Where do you oh, want to be? Way. This, this way. way. We gotta face this oh, way. We want the sun. Face. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. This is so weird. All right. Ready? <laughs> One, two, Can you see the lyrics? Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Let's do it. One, two, three, go. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one. I see B is very, very extraordinary. E is even more than anyone that you adore and love. Another <laughs> bringing out the Broadway dancing. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. You guys take care. <laughs> oh my God, that was weird. <laughs> so random. <laughs> All right, so we'll carry on down this pier. Um, I'm sorry you had witnessed my horrible singing, but you know, <laughs> it's fun to interact with the people down here because everybody's, everybody's having a good time. It's a, such a nice day here on the beach. As you can see over here, we can look all the way over to Malibu. This is gorgeous. Such a nice sunny day. Another little fun fact, Bubblegum Shrimp Company here. When I first moved to California, this was actually my first job at the restaurant. I was waiting tables here. I was going all the way up and down Santa Monica Boulevard asking uh, with my resume and cover letter, trying to find a job as a waiter. And when I came by here, I dropped it off and they asked to give me an interview right then. Well, I told them that I had worked for another restaurant in Texas that was a theme restaurant and I performed Formed as a character of uh, Ace Ventura, so they had me do an Ace Ventura audition or impression for for my interview, and then they hired me right on the spot. So that's a little fun fact of Bubblegum Shrimp Company right here. Um, also over here, this is another parking lot on the pier, and during the summer they do a lot of cool stuff over here. They'll do movies on the pier. They even had uh, a Red Bull event here one time where I believe he broke a record for the highest uh, motorcycle jump off of a half pike so they built it all right here they've also had golden boy promotions did a boxing event here 
they uh, do concerts quite a lot. It has been like six or seven years since I've lived as well, but they clear out this entire parking lot before and they would hold a lot of different events here. Galas, um, like I said, boxing matches, movies, concerts. And in fact, we'll actually go this way. You'll get to see where Muscle Beach is, the original Muscle Beach. When you think of Muscle Beach, but the original Muscle Beach is actually just right over here. They have a lot of fun stuff. You can meet tons of acrobats down here. A lot of people in the stunt business, a lot of actors, a lot of people just come out to have fun and stay fit. And the, this area over here has a lot of traveling rings, pull-up bars, and we'll actually head on over there. Maybe we can take a look. Let me see if I can find the staircase over here. Pardon. They used to have a staircase. The staircase is blocked off. So we'll have to go over this way. But yeah, if you look out over here, there's a little patch of green grass right in that area. And that's where you'll see a lot of people doing acrobatics and stunts and tumbling. And you meet a lot of really open, really nice people. And then this is the, the bike path. This bike path goes all the way down to Venice Beach, to the famous part of Venice Beach where you've also probably seen in a lot of movies and stuff as well. I'm sorry I haven't got to say hi to everybody. Thank you guys for all being here. Ram, Jackie, Joyce, Wendy, Indigo Rose is here. Nice to see you guys. Mama Westman, of course, the first one in the room. Uh, Mambo, nice to see you guys. I uh, hope you guys are having a great day as well. It's such a beautiful day. I have a few more hours before I have to get on a plane back to Las Vegas, but um, I was down here with uh, my afternoon free, so I stopped by the Treppy School to see some old friends and, uh, and also got to swing a little bit. And I took some photos of the Iron Jaw teeth hanging from uh, the rig so I can get some nice pictures with the uh, ocean and the mountains in the background. But... But yeah, this is the Santa Monica Pier, and you'll see over also um, on this side, there's a few restaurants as well. There's quite a few restaurants here, um, but the food is not going to be that great. It's it's pretty good middle of the middle of the road type of food. Um, but the nice thing is, is if you're coming here, you're probably not coming here for a gourmet dinner. You're just coming for the atmosphere and being on the beach, and that's kind of what you're going to get. The nice thing is a lot of these places have outdoor seating, and for me, one of my favorite things to do is to go to a restaurant, sit outside and eat, enjoy the outside air. So this is one of them, Rusty Surf Ranch. Um, Seaside on the Pier. I remember when I was actually working at the, the Trappy School here, the Rusty's here would have open mic nights. So you would see a lot of comedians come in through here. And really funny people too, because Obviously in LA you have a ton of performers, ton of aspiring performers, and you get a chance to like, if you go to these open mic nights, you'll find some people who have really good talent, who just are looking for their break or needing to practice their material. All right, as we get over here, this is the famous carousel inside here. We'll take a peek inside this area and you'll get to see the carousel. It says it's a private party closed, but as you see in there, that's kind of a, a famous Ferris wheel. I've never been on it, but there is an ice cream shop around the corner that I, I love. All right, here's another street performer. Hope this is not copyright music. <laughs> and down here is one of the places we typically would go after work or after we had a show called Big Dean's because they have a patio in the back and right here in the front where you can come and have a drink, have a burger, and it's really nice. As you see, the line is just nuts. Saturday afternoon, it's crazy. And then again, this is the, the boardwalk. This is the, this is the bike path that you can take all the way down to Venice Beach. I think it actually continues all the way down to uh, I think it continues all the way down to Marina del Rey, which is almost by the airport. What's up, Tokyo Drew? Welcome, everybody. Welcome. 
Uh, as I was saying before, this is not going to be a very long live stream, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit around here where I learned circus, where I learned flying trapeze before I moved uh, to Vegas and then eventually joined with Ringling Brothers. But this is the other side of the pier. And we'll head on over to where Muscle Beach is, the original Muscle Beach. If you ever come out here on a Sunday afternoon, I don't know if they still do it, but they used to, every Sunday, is when a ton of people from the industry, like stunt industry, the circus industry, um, or just anybody that wanted to, you come out here, and there are tons of people to help you learn different things like tumbling and handstands and slack wire, um, all kinds of different fun things. So it's a, and it's a real good group of people. They're always welcoming to see new people, to meet new people. So even if you're kind of shy, uh, it's really cool. You can come over here and people will, will really greet you and welcome you in. I apologize, I don't have the gimbal today, so it might be a little bouncy, but this was kind of an impromptu live stream, so that's why I didn't give you guys any heads up. I apologize, but uh, thanks for being here anyway. And as we get over here to Muscle Beach, you'll see that little patch of green grass I was mentioning before. They have bathrooms. They also have a little place where you can rinse off, do pull-ups. They have ropes you can climb. They have swing sets. Traveling rings, flying rings, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you're gonna see over here now, this is the green patch. This is the original Muscle Beach. You'll find people doing capoeira, gymnastics, handstands, acro, yoga. A little bit of everything going on over here. This guy's just standing on that guy. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. That's right. Remember to smash that like button. All right. Another street performer T taking a moment to rest. Over here you have like the high bars, the parallel bars. There's the flying rings. You see the guy doing a handstand on right now in the background. But those things are really cool. Those guys will start swinging and they'll do double, triple, and sometimes quadruple flips off of that thing into the sand. And then the swinging rings over here, the traveling rings they call them. And then anything over here that you see that's connected, like these slack wires, these are uh, these slack lines. People bring these themselves and they tie them all up here. So there's a couple of different things that you can do with these slack wires. You can see like her, she's just work, walking on it for balance, but there's also acrobatic stuff you can do. You can bounce on it like a trampoline, do flips and try and land back on it as well. It's very, very good for learning core stability and balance. And then a peek back over there to the pier. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I know I told you this is going to be a short stream. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer some questions before we finish the live stream. But uh, this is here in Santa Monica at the pier where I first started uh, uh, flying trapeze. Take a walk here along the uh, along the boardwalk for a little. Answer any questions if you guys have any. If not, just show you a little bit of the beautiful beach here. Look at this long slack line. Holy crap! This slack line. I don't know if you guys can see that. They have a, a pulley block I'm trying to pull this thing tight because it's so long. I don't know if you guys can see how it connects all the way over there. I've never seen one that long. That's incredible. Wow. That's amazing. So Wendy asks, when are you going to see Tycho? That's a good question. So 
I will be leaving here from uh, Los Angeles to go to Vegas tonight. I'll be staying in Vegas for another week and a half, and then from there, I will be uh, going to Dallas for two weeks. And then after that, they, more towards the end of March is what I will be is when I'll be going to Montreal to see Tycho. Um, let me set this down for just one second. So as I was saying, um, yeah, the end of March is when I'll be headed to Montreal and I will be going to train at Cirque du Soleil with Tycho. Her and I will be doing different acts, but we'll be able to be there together at the same time. Um, but it's kind of exciting. It's really exciting to be able to train there. And um, there's no guarantee for any shows at this time, but that's the idea is they're gonna train uh, people for positions that they wanna put into their shows. More like a zip line than a slack line, right? <laughs> so Feifei is actually staying in Japan right now. She'll stay in Tokyo with Taiko's sister. And um, while Taiko is in Montreal for the three months, uh, Feifei is going to be there and her sister is going to be taking care. Look at this slack line, guys. Sorry to interrupt, but look at this. That thing is so long. Wow. That's incredible. What is your favorite music band? Oh. Well, Drew, um, I don't know that I have a favorite. My favorite band used to be Linkin Park and Buck Cherry. I still like them, but I I don't know. I, I just listen to really kind of whatever's on the radio. I like classic rock. I like pop. I like alternative rock. But I don't really have a favorite band because they're constantly changing. I think what I'm listening to the most right now is... Um, is Imagine Dragons. So will you come back to visit Japan this year? Um, I don't know. I really don't know what the this year is going to hold for me because, like I said, I have a contract now for three months training. Um, but after that, if there's no position available in a show, then, um, then I'll be looking around for work at that point. So uh, we'll see how everything progresses. Um, but for now... My focus is just staying in shape, continuing to condition myself so that I'll be able to do the, uh, the training program there in Canada and be ready for a show if they uh, have a spot for me. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the photos that Tygo's just been recently posting, but she's doing an act called the Russian Cradle. So she's swinging hand to hand and feet to hand with, uh, with a, a bass or a porter, as they're called. And <laughs> since it's only her second week she just finished her second week and her hands are destroyed it's it's crazy i mean it's just like you you experience in trapeze when you're first starting trapeze your hands get all ripped up she's doing the same thing now for uh for her wrists maybe i will get to see you perform if you both get hired at cirque only been to one show that was in vancouver yeah you know it'd be really great if uh, we both get hired because then we'll both be in well i mean we'll, We'll both be in separate shows, so that won't be great, but the chances of the shows that we will be going to, touring around the world, um, is high. So the shows that they're looking at to put us in are both touring. Um, one show is in America right now, and the other show is in, in Europe. So that will be a little difficult for us as far as not being able to see each other or work together, but we'll see how it all works out. We'll see how it all goes. Right now, we're just focus on what's happening right now that's why I said I feel sorry for Stiko yeah <laughs> she posted a, quite a few photos this week but the, the incredible thing is like I saw her her training and she is just killing it she's doing so good and she's only been doing it for two weeks it's pretty incredible I'm sure it's just to post some of the photos on her, her Instagram but I uh, her insta stories better have a spot for you or they will answer to us <laughs> that's right I got my troopers behind me and the Drew crew so
So I guess this is kind of like my first unofficial official announcement of that. Um, I've had the contract signed for a couple months, but at the same time, I wasn't really uh, publicizing it because it is, I guess, only a, I, um, it is only for a training contract. It's not for a show yet. And I didn't want it to prevent me from getting, possibly getting any of those jobs after that if for some reason they don't have a spot open up for me. Hey, Wanamaker, welcome. Glad you could join. We are walking around Santa Monica right now. I'm gonna head back to the train. Um, one thing that's really interesting about this show um, that they are looking for to put me on is that, like I said, they, they're touring the United States right now, but I think the next place, I'm just guessing, but the next place that they might end up going to would be Japan. I'm not trying to get too excited about that yet because I don't know at all. I may be just making stuff up. But once it's posted on the website, we'll know. But that would be pretty incredible. <laughs> if I just leave from four and a half years working in Japan, join this show and end up going back to Japan for a year and a half. Ram, you'll be seeing my face before, during, and after that training. Uh, I don't plan to stop doing YouTube. I don't plan to stop doing live streams. Uh, in fact, I'm trying to do a little bit more of these live streams, especially when I get to Canada with Tycho. Uh, also, I have some ideas for some skits that I want to do in Canada with Tycho, but uh, the YouTube channel is going to continue going. So I really appreciate you guys staying with it, even though I haven't been as consistent as I had been over the last year. But yeah, there's going to be a lot more content coming out. I'm going to do a lot more of these live streams as well. Looking a little rustic. Yeah, this is what uh, two months of not working will do. <laughs> when, you have a, when you're a performer and you have a chance to, to not work and you don't have to shave, this is what you get. This is... <laughs> the show we saw was Totem in Vancouver and it was amazing. Yeah, Totem was a really good show. They have, like, all their shows are really good. And I like that when they tour, they stay in the same city for quite a while. Um, it gives you a chance to really see the city, see the locations, um, get to meet people that are local, you know. And so it's a little difficult. When I was working with Ringling Brothers, we, uh, we would stay in a city for a week, sometimes two weeks at the most, but you're in a town for a week. It doesn't give you a lot of time to really get to see what's going on. You show up. You set up the circus, you work, and then you leave. And that's how it has been. That's how it used to be for a long time. And traditional circus still do that. But one of the benefits to, the, to being able to stay in a city for a longer period of time is, is all those things I just mentioned. It's really nice to uh, find a good place to eat. Of course, I'm going to just start talking about food. But <clears throat> these are some really nice apartments. These were not here six years ago when I was living in LA. This is really interesting. I like these things. I saw them for the first time in Berlin, but these little scooters you just rent, you can rent them on Uber, it says, and just scoot around. How about that? This has all been rebuilt. So this is cool. I get to like show you guys around while I'm seeing it for the first time as well. I don't know that I'd be a very good host, a tour guide for you right now because a lot of this was all under construction about six years ago when I was living here. Uh, when I do go to Dallas, I, yeah, I will be visiting family. Uh, unfortunately, my dad will be leaving out of town just before I get there. Um, but my sister's family is all there. Uh, I'll be able to see my mom see a bunch of my friends that I went to school with and there's also a trapeze there well, one of my friends owns is called Skyline Trapeze and I'll be able to teach some classes with him hang out there and do some more flying trapeze and stay in shape as well um, that's the main thing is while I have this downtime and I'm not working I need to keep my skills up maintain my fitness so that I'm ready to just jump right in when I get there 
Mm. More videos with your mom, please. Did I make a lot of videos with my mom? I can't remember now. I'm trying to remember when, uh, when my mom was in a video. She'd been to Japan a couple times and we went to Greece as well for my birthday a few years ago. And I think she was in some of those videos, but I didn't vlog at the time, I don't believe. I can't remember. Let's see, we get across here. Don't touch with my hand. Oh, that's right. When we went to Texas, the one with the bull balls. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's right. Well, when Tycho and I went to Texas and we were in Fort Worth, we took Tycho to eat the cow fries for the first time. That's right, yeah. And my mom's a character. She's just like me. She likes the, she's very outgoing, she's very friendly. She's really good on camera, too. I'll do a mom and son vlog. That'll be fun. Maybe I'll do a vlog going to her house in, in the panhandle. Show, like, the, uh, the less populated areas of Texas. Hey, welcome, Karen. Glad you could join as well. Yeah, I've been back in the States uh, since the beginning of February. We were only working in Mexico for a month. Um, but now, uh, well, I'm back. Tycho is actually in Canada at the moment. And, uh, yeah, I'll be bouncing around now between L.A., Las Vegas, and Dallas over the next two weeks. I'm not sure if any of you guys are familiar with UFC or you guys watch UFC, but next weekend there's a big UFC fight in Las Vegas. And it just so happens that we we got tickets. So Alex, me, and the people who run the Trepis Las Vegas are going to be going to the UFC fight. And I'm going to do a vlog about that. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. If there's anything that interests you about that, send me a DMs and I'll try and video it for you guys because I, I really want to capture that event really good. We're, we're going to give VIP tickets, I believe, to uh, uh, the assistant of Dana White is actually the one getting us tickets. So that's gonna be real exciting. I'm super looking forward to that. Oh, we gotta get across here, huh? All right, so we've gone a long way around to get back to the top of the pier. And as we get around here, as we get up here to Colorado's, you see, that's the uh, beginning of the pier and a bunch of restaurants. And just beyond that, where you see that tower, that clock, that is the Third Street Promenade, where it's basically a, a closed off street for cars and there's stores up and down both sides. It's great for shopping, good for going there to eat lunch. A lot of good places to walk around over here. So the circus in Japan, um, Circus in Japan is still going on. They uh, they are on a temporarily they are temporarily um, on hold actually at the moment because of the coronavirus. The government has recommended that some of these places shut down. A lot of the businesses where there's big crowds of people, like movie theaters and stuff like that, they are recommending that these businesses shut down. And when the government recommends that, it generally means you need to close your business. So. Right now, they're going to be hanging out in Utsunomiya, and for two weeks, the circus will not be doing shows. But it gives them a nice chance to do some practicing because they have a new team over there. Um, basically, everybody has changed. The only people that you guys would know would be Josh and Dale. And Miles was still there from whenever I was uh, leaving. But um, Josh and Dale are basically running that trapeze team now. Uh, as far as what's going on in Japan and Pop Circus. Will you ever come to Washington, D.C.? Well, Mama Westman, if everything goes well with the training in, in uh, Montreal, it, it's a high possibility that I could be going to D.C. in August. That's, that's my goal. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm hoping that works out. But... 
Um, like I was mentioning before, I got to get through the training process and there has to be a position open as well. Even if I go through the training and there's nobody, uh, no position available for my job, then I don't think they're going to be able to place me. So we'll see how it all works out, but that's my goal. That would be a lot of fun. Look at this McLaren. Oh, wow. This is a nice car. How you doing, man? It's a beautiful car. That is sick. It's a pretty cool car, huh? <laughs> what will you do if there is no position after training? So I actually don't know what the plan will be after that because um, the way it's set up is I, uh, I I have no clue. I can't, I can't answer that. I, I think what I'll do is I'll probably go back to Vegas and keep training trapeze. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see how everything's going because I won't have a team at that point and Tycho will likely be in a job as well. Uh, we just have to see how everything works its way out once, once the training is complete. Tycho's only in her second week and I haven't even started so it's, it's difficult to like plan ahead and look forward to well, we have no clue what the what's gonna happen, but <laughs> hopefully everything works out for you. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a lot of excitement, a lot of um, hoping, but you know the good thing is, is Tycho and I both have really strong work ethics. We know that as long as we work hard, and we can we'll we'll advance. But everything beyond that is not in our control, so we can't worry about all that. Only worry about what we can do. Thanks, Mambo. Thank you, Mama Westman. Thank you guys so much. So I'm going to be walking back up here to the uh, bus stash, uh, bus, the train station, and I'm going to wrap up this uh, live stream. It's been nice kind of walking around, showing you guys a little bit around Santa Monica. But uh, once I get on the train, I don't think I can have the phone, so I'm going to have to say goodbye to you guys. I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you guys learned a little bit about my backstory of how I learned to find trapeze and got to see the school that I started at. I'll be posting some videos and photos of my afternoon down there on Instagram and my Insta stories. So I hope you guys will check that out. Uh, for now, I hope you guys stay awesome. Have a good day and we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>